Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to share how I work with one of my students to determine how we can pay our, our, our builders and what milestone they need to hit for us to release the funds. If you like this video or any of my videos, hit the like button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more of these videos. Um, as I was saying, I think the lockdown will not stop us from doing the, the um, reform pro, pro project. So I'm hoping okay. that we should be able, because I was, we are in lockdown in, in Cardiff ourselves, but really? um, yeah, but what, well, um, I've got a couple of projects going, um, one in Newport, the other one in, uh, in, in, uh, in Merthyr. Uh, I literally just got, got back from Newport today. So um, luckily I was, I haven't been stopped by any of the police officers. And uh, also if you have a valid reason to travel, uh, yeah. Which you could not do from home. You can. You are. All, you can. You are also allowed to travel, and basically. Is development a um, a reason to, to travel? So yeah. Fine, then. Yes. Uh, yes, it is. Why not? It it it, it is your business. Oh, you cannot yeah. do it while doing while staying at home. You yeah. know. So um, you just tell them that you are a builder and a property investor. You're there to negotiate deals with your builders as well as get them the materials as and when required. So that's a valid reason for you to travel to oh, um, Li Liverpool. So that's not a problem at all. Absolutely not. Okay, great. Right. Okay, great. good. I hope that 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 then clear out um, all the sort of um, yeah, uh, I was things that you know. That whether that might affect us in the future or not. No, no, I don't think it will affect unless if the whole country is being put in, into lockdown then probably it may delay stuff but still um, once you've got the builders going they're allowed to go in and do work as long as it's minimum of three to four people in in the actual building so i'm pretty right. sure because we're getting the contract by one builder so obviously he will be able to control that as well as we will make sure that we don't have over six people in 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 the same property yeah yeah okay, okay. um we've got the builder booked um, to do the whole project and yeah. uh, we've decided to go with one contractor uh, we usually go with different contractor that does different sort of um, uh, building works but this time around we we realized that oh, sorry we found out that that the one contractor um, uh, negotiation we've made um, tend to be a bit cheaper or reasonable than doing it individually yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. Even compa even comparison to what when looking to the the breakdown of what this one contract has done versus all of the separate contractor tradesmen that we um, interviewed, yeah. he in fact beat all of their prices uh, in, in terms of their works. Okay. Um, apart from the bathrooms, which he well, which is a bit overpriced, but yeah. we're willing to commit to that to get him to do the whole project, and it's less of a hassle for us down the line. Brilliant. I okay. We, yeah, I am happy with that. that as well. So he seems to be a very nice, reasonable guy, and yeah, he exactly. came across like someone who knows what they're doing. So let's give him a go, and yeah. then let's let's get it going. I know that he's done the demolition. He's ripped out all the stuff that needs to be ripped out. So that's all yeah. done now and the property is basically ready to go. Yeah, exactly. Apart from two walls that needs to be, a couple stud walls and uh, a door, a doorway needs to be broken through. Yeah. Um, but then apart from that, yeah, we're ready to go. Um, right. So they'll be saying that there will be potentially two contractors. So one separate contractor to do the loft. Okay. Uh, as Sean won't be able to do that. Okay. Um, so we're just in negotiation finalizing the drawings mm -hmm. and then we'll enter a negotiation with a, a few builders that we have in mind okay to um, to do the loft right okay so so just to recap on that we are converting a three bedroom house if i if, if i'm correct into six bedroom um high-end hmo with all end suite rooms isn't it yeah exactly right okay all right that's fine so so um i think i think i think sean would do really well in this project if we monitor and control what he's doing and uh, which yeah. which i would emphasize again to you we have to be really really stunned with these people we have to be really uh once we set our deadlines we need to ensure that those deadlines are met unless on exceptional circumstances so yeah, um, I spoke to, um i spoke to sean about that exact point and he said because of the relationship we've built, he's happy for me to also be there and assist with the project managing and be involved at the contractor level as well to, right. to help him along with the project. Which is okay. Really good. 
okay good 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 to know but we just need to make sure that we don't um literally get involved being uh, as a handyman in the project so we would manage it right as long as we hit the milestones we are happy to um, release the funds in the, in that basis so talking about the um, payment now so obviously it's going to tender uh, once we've got the specification from the um, uh, architect then we would then talk about payment so we're talking about the payment plan now so what yeah. i was suggesting is is to pay him um, based on milestones so um or in phases basically so we would say to him for example um, because he's doing all the electric all the plastering all the plumbing work carpentry basically he's doing everything right so we would set the payment plan in this sort of way where he if he's done all the say say if you've done all the now he's done all the um, demolition is ripped out most of the stuff apart from the two walls that you've just talked about so now yeah. we're going to say okay now we agreed on the payment that, that we've already agreed so we're going to hit it on a milestone if we knock all those walls down right build all the stored walls where they require to go right and yeah. his his came and plastered wherever is required in the property right that would be a milestone basically right along sorry alongside the first fix of the plumbing works right okay, give me um one second i'm just writing that okay down. no problem so we're saying knock no down. knock knocking the walls is part of the demolition right okay, so okay. that he should have done anyways right that should have been done anyways so yeah. what would be the first milestone basically is when he brings the ceilings down because we need to bring the ceilings down a little bit for us to get the head height we need to the, we need for the two loft um, bedrooms, right? Yeah. So once he's brought that down, he done all the stored walls within the property, um, has, and he's done the first fix of the plumbing works and the electrics, right? And then and uh, and then we can then give him a, a a a part of the payment basically. So that that would be a milestone, putting the ceiling down right um uh, doing the first fix in both electric and plumbing yeah right first fix is meaning um for example if you're looking at electric sinking in all the cables sockets and all the rest of it getting it ready for um for the scheming to to be continued okay so yeah. and as well as the plumbing work where we've actually buried the plumb sorry buried the pipes where required and all the sort of junctions the connections are, are all done and ready to be plastered over as well that would be the first milestone okay unless unless if you want us to um, include half of the plastering so if you've done half of the plastering then we would say okay half of the plastering would be part of that milestone okay does that sound sound reasonable yeah it should do um but i guess that's that's something that we can negotiate him with right if he says no we want to do it plastering as one separate thing we can give that to him or Right, so, so okay, so if he says that, then we could say, okay, all the, all the stored walls getting ready, the, getting, the stored, getting the ceiling down, stored walls ready, first fix of electric and, yeah. and, and plumbing work, that would be first milestone. Yeah. Right? And then the second milestone would be skimming and plastering wherever, wherever it's required. Yeah. Right? Um, um, as well as having the, having the doors lining and then all the architrave is on, we could set that as another milestone, okay? Okay, separate to the plastering or in the same? same no, milestone? in the plastering, because plastering, they may do that like within a week or so. So plastering plus putting the, um, uh, putting the door lining on, right? That would be another milestone. I, I can't pronounce the word, architrave I think it's called. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I could read. Right, so Arcade that would be that would be another milestone. So what would be um, in? So you said door lining. What else would be involved in that part? Um, it's the door lining, the um, uh, architrave, and and then obviously plus and obviously obviously um, obviously skimming the whole property as well. Sure, and then with the architrave, that, that means the. Um, the skirting boards, right, and then the, the other wood. No, 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 that, that would leave for now. Um, uh, and okay. then after, after he's done, because what we don't want is for him to only do the plastering and then we give him another milestone. You know, that would be significantly hit in our, in our sort of um, uh, budget. So we're going to yeah. say architraves were required, the door yeah. lining, and sorry, door lining and the plastering is one. Architrave would go with the skirtings. 
Okay, so we'll do that separate then. Yeah, that yeah, part. So yeah. It's just plastering is the next uh, milestone. Plastering and the door lining. And door lining. Yeah, yeah, and the door lining. That would be another milestone. Okay. Right. So, and uh, obviously after, after we've done that now, so all the joinery, for example, fitting the doors, fit, bringing back the architraves, all the skirting, right? Where required before we put the laminate flooring down. On the ground floor, we would wait until the laminate flooring goes down and you put the architraves on top of it so it will flush in nicely. Okay, so you don't do the skirting boards then at that point? No, on the ground floor, no, because we have a laminate flooring, aren't we? Yeah, and um, what about the uh, upstairs two floors? Should we not do laminate for everything or do you do carpet then? Or What do you want to do? I think personally laminate flooring throughout the house, the house and, and maybe on the stairs we do carpet. Right, okay. So so let's then bring that in then. So all the car all the carpets we say say the curtains, um yeah. uh, the the floor, laminate flooring, yeah. right? The doors and the kitchen right the kitchen yeah. um that would also be another milestone okay and do you want it all in the same joinery yes then? yeah the let's just say all the joinery works is another milestone including okay. installing the kitchen okay yeah so yeah. that's another milestone and then and then once we've done that obviously we've got the we've got the we've then got the tiling to be done Right. Does that happen after the bathroom installation or before? Yeah, the bathroom installation would have already been done on, on the first fix. You know, you know when I told you the oh, um, plumbing okay. things? That would include okay. the um, junction and the connections of all the end switch rooms and bathrooms, basically. Right. And that, that includes actually physically installing the toilet and the shower and everything, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, some of it would include that because some of it will not include because we have to do the skimming plastering the walls before we could hang the bath uh, before we could hang the toilets in right so all the points all the connections will be the first fix putting in the toilet the bathroom or the shower would be the second fix right which okay. we, which which is what we're going to do after af, after the joinery work fine okay right. so bathroom installation happens after the um after the joinery yeah after the joinery then what we could then do we could say okay now um, putting in all the bath, say the the um, showers, the 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 yeah, the um, sink, the toilet. the toilet, all the rest of the second fix, right, yeah. would go into that alongside the tiling, right. You know, we're going to be tiling underneath the kitchen unit, right. Yeah. That tiling, obviously, yeah. we're going. Yeah, Pardon. I was doing some research and I saw. Um, I don't know if it's a trend or what people are doing now. Is they put this kind of like thick glass. Yeah. Um, against the back of the um, the walls in the kitchen, you know, against the um, the stove and uh, yeah. above the countertop, just because any like splashback that goes in the wall, it can just easily be wiped with the um, wipe the glass rather than having tiles and stuff. Right. Okay. Send me a photo of it. I know people have started using cladding on those sort of thing. So yeah. um, uh, so send me the photo. It looks like a tile, but it's not tile. It's it's, it's cladded underneath the actual um yeah, uh, the actual scene. In our house here actually it's like thick glass. Yeah, okay, send send that photo to me. Let's have a look at it. Okay. But anyways, that will be part of that milestone as well, okay? Okay, so second fix. So is that plumbing and electric? Or Correct. Plumbing? No, um plumbing, sorry, electric second fix would be after we've done the painting and and the tiling. And tiling. Okay. Right, okay. So so that's that for that one. So how about um, is he going to be doing the back garden and uh, any other stuff external? Um, no, we don't really have a we don't have any garden to be honest. We right, okay. It's just like a, just a small area. Brilliant. Okay. Small area. So so what we then need to do then the the um, other milestone would be now um, uh, the painting and decorating the house and the second fix of the electric um, uh, in 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 the house. So that basically is, is just painting, basically, right? Painting the whole house, right? Okay. Painting the whole entire okay, house. So painting and decorating are the same thing, then. Yeah, it is, it is the same thing. Decorating is where okay. there where there's a minor crack or something needs to be amended, um, things like that. Oh, fine. Okay, I get you. Oh, fine. Okay, and then um, I was thinking. So I got a quote for the outside. I think it would be worth 
especially with this house, to paint the front of the house. Okay, is um, that is the, the is that part is it? that is that part of Sean's coat, or this is a separate coat? Well, I got a separate coat. I need to confirm with Sean if he included that. But I quoted his quote of about three hundred pounds. Okay, you just you just up. assume he's included it, right? Don't say, okay. oh, Sean, did you include the uh, outside painting? Okay, just assume. Yeah, <laughs> just, ju ju just assume it's included. Because he said he would do the whole lot for that price. So I would, yeah. I would imagine that's included. Okay, fine. Right, okay. so obviously yeah. painting in and out of the property and the second fix yeah. of the electric would be another milestone. Yeah. Right. So, so we've looked at the major sort of things now. So we're not doing anything on the roof. The roof is fine. And uh, yeah, so that is, if that, I think that's the second main mile because we've done the kitchen now, we've done the bathroom, the doors goes with the joinery. So um, that would be the milestone. And then we roughly gonna hold back about five to 10% of the final figure, just for yeah. in case there, there are any naggings or leak once the property is been done up. Because what would happen once you've done a property, maybe one of the pipes were not connected properly or were loose, when we start, when we start using it or testing it, you will find out there will, there will be some leaks coming through. Yeah. So we would find a way that we could held back a minimum of five to ten percent for 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 about four weeks or so. Okay. Right, just just in case we have any any nagging, and also we'd have to have a written agreement. Any nagging within within the six months. Um, he should be. He should come back and actually sort the problem out. Say if we've got a leak or there's a crack somewhere, things like that. So all that sort of thing we need to we okay. need to um, incorporate. So how would I, how would I include that into the calculation? Do I subtract, so, say for example, five percent from each of the milestones? How many milestones? How many milestones have we listed six. so far? Six. So we got la we got six. We got labour. Uh, bringing the ceilings down, stud walls, skimming, mm. plastering, yeah. joinery, second plumbing fixed, tiling, and then painting. Check the time. So it's six in total. Six in total. Okay. So what you do, you will divide that by hundred. Yeah. That would give us yeah. how much percent we need to pay him. No, sorry. Okay. Divide that by um ninety five because we will hold back the five percent. Yeah, makes sense. Divide it by um ninety five. So what you okay. do first, divide it by ninety. If he turned around and said, oh, no, I can't do that, then we could say, okay, we we're happy to give you 95% then. So that, that yeah. gives us the one. So anyway, so back of it. So you divide the 90% yeah. by six milestones. Yeah. Um, how many percent is, is that then? Each so milestone. My calculator. Uh, so I would take 90% of the overall cost and then divide it by no, six. No, 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 no. The ninety percent itself, do do ninety, yeah, divide by six. It's fifteen. Fifteen, fifteen, right? Yeah. So so the milestone is fifteen percent. Each time he hits a milestone, we release fifteen percent of the funds. Right. Okay. I get you. I yeah. Get you. So if out of the amount agreed, you just yeah. um how much how much was the was the final price again? So it it is eighteen fifty for eighteen point five, but. I don't think he's included some stuff. So I, I believe the price is going to go up um, because first of all, we haven't got the spec yet. Second of all, we haven't included the fact that we need to dig up the um, the ground and get the plumbing in. Right. I so thought I, th I, th I thought we were going to get a labourer for, 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 for to um, doing that. Yeah. So Sean has now said he he can, he's spoken to one of his guys that would be able to do that. Um, Okay, but so we need we need to con we need to conclude that then. Regardless, yes. that it's gonna be on based on milestones, anyways. That would be part of the first fix, digging that hole. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that would be part, part part of the first fix. So so that's not fine. Even if we increase by about a couple of grand or so, let, let's just assume twenty k. Okay. Yeah. To to be on the safe side. So fifteen percent off of twenty k is how much? Um, twenty thousand times zero point one five is three k. 3k so so yeah so once he's done the first fix then obviously we'll give him 3k yeah right and then obviously once he's done the other milestone then we would pay him that way uh, okay so that's that's how i normally do it or uh, sometimes i do it in a percentage wise but that's how i normally in most cases in most cases that's how i break my my, my sort of building work i ask it to go that way or in some occasion we'd say okay i'll pay you 20 percent 
when we are halfway there, I give you another thirty percent, and then when we are complete, I give you forty percent, and and then for any nagging or stuff like that, I will hold back ten percent or five percent. So that's how I do. But this is the best way to do it. This this milestone. Yeah. So I, I think, think I think that's fine. Yeah, I I think the milestones are fine. That puts us in a better position. And also having the specification ready would also help us look at the actual sort of uh, milestones. We can see that it's been hit as well, okay? Yeah. So that's it really, that's what we're gonna do. If you could put that in a Word document, if you wanna email it to me, and we could have another meeting with, with, with Sean himself, so we can go through the milestone once we've got the specification, and then, and, and then obviously we'll come to an agreement because we need to get this going. We need to complete within, within we want to complete we, within 12 weeks, right? But we're gonna tell him eight weeks. Yeah, so we, we're going to say we want it to complete eight, eight weeks, so we give ourselves about four weeks of sort of room to manoeuvre. Okay, and, 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 and I believe we, we can get it done. Um, uh, the only thing that may delay a little bit is, 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 is the loft, because we need them both to work in conjunction to actually allow the work to happen at the same time. Sure. Which I believe, because they, they will be friends and recommendation from Sean, if we were to go ahead with him, um, then that that would be um, uh, they would work efficiently. Yeah, so they're separate people. They don't know each other, but I, I know both of them, and they're pretty straightforward guys. So I don't think they'll have an issue with each other. Brilliant. Okay. And I've, been, I've been straightforward with both of them in terms of the work that I'm doing, so it's not a surprise that there'll be two people working. In it, basically. Fantastic. Okay. So why I said they need to be working together because once you drop that ceiling, um, he needs yeah. to know what's happening up there as as well. You see, so. So, um, yeah, definitely. So um, let's just keep, bear that in mind now. Um, that will be happening. So once we've got the code for the, for the loft as well, we want them both to go in almost the same time, right? Because once Sean, start nag they once start, once Sean has dropped those ceilings down, yeah. right, um, he will be doing work up, up there then. Yeah. Right. So, and uh, Sean needs to know where all the plumbing, okay, Sean needs to know where all the plumbing works are going. So what is this? Loft guy going to be doing then? What does so what he, does Sean wants him to do? do a full turnkey um, for thirty k. So from start to finish, everything we just tell him what we want in terms of the toilet finishing and everything, and what what colours in the bedroom stuff. So he will do everything. Yeah. Uh, but that thirty k, yeah, is is what he estimates. So including materials. Is, sorry, say that again. Including materials. Yeah, everything. Okay, so we yeah. need to negotiate on that because we are buying our materials. Yeah, so right. this is the thing. So um, depending on what the architect says, potentially we're going to, you know, the outrig on this property. Yeah. Uh, this is what we're deliberating with the architect so far, whether it's worth building not only on the loft, but out of the outrig as well, on top of the outrig. Yeah. Um, which will obviously increase the cost. Yeah. So it's just finalizing that with the architect now. So it could be less than thirty, depending on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, it needs to, we need to, we need to go less than thirty, right? We need to go. We need to go less than thirty k, right? Yeah. So um, uh, and again, once you know who this builder is, just put him on a call. We did exactly what we did with Sean, and then obviously we can then see how we can um, bring that cost together. But that needs to happen before Sean starts. Okay. So the the sooner we arrange that that meeting the 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 um, better for us and Sean anyways we just need to press the architect to complete this by um, next week so we can get the ball going yeah exactly yeah. so hopefully he's got this done by Monday so um, I'd prefer to have this chat but the thing is the loft guy now wants to also have an on-site meeting just to look at the property now it's been stripped yes so that's fine do we want to have this call before or after we have that on-site meeting um, let, let, let's have the on-site meeting first because then we know he knows what we're talking about and you would know what we're talking about as well and it would be good if we can set the meeting up whilst you're on site with him as well so I will be on, on the call so we can go through, through, through the whole lot fine okay okay brilliant no problem then so write everything down send it to me and then obviously we can go through it um, with Sean if he's happy then we can just draft the contract then and, and, and get the ball rolling Okay, great. Sounds good. All right, brilliant. No problem. Thanks very much, Ange. Thanks very much. Okay, let's start out. Bye, bye, bye. Yes, as you can see, I've just finished this conversation with, with, with my students to work him through how to work with builders as well as create milestones and payment phases 
um, with, with his builder to ensure that the builder is doing what he's been asked to do and is getting paid fairly accordingly to the work he's actually achieved. If you like this video or any of my videos, hit the like button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more of these videos. Thank you.